this is where the water begins its journey going into the system. It's rain, a rain water barrel that I have set up with, with a suction tube, three quarter inch pecs. And this pex is a 50 foot piece that I got at Home Depot. It was like 25 bucks. Uh, the rain barrel itself I got from a friend for like $10. This Fiskars unit I think was like 32 or so dollars on eBay. And um, I, in order to get this uh, system simplified, I used this 50 foot piece of pex with these 90 degree or approximately 90 degree bends so instead of cutting this and putting uh, 90 degree elbows and crimping it on there I just decided in most cases I said I didn't need to have an elbow so I was able to get this thing all the way to the inside without actually uh, making any cuts to it so there's no chance of air, air getting into my suction side all right here we are inside of the basement here is the three-quarter inch PEX line that's coming in from outside um, I basically have it kind of routed through the ceiling with these bends. I think I had like four or five bends that I had to make. And 50 foot piece turned out to be just right for my situation. Sorry for that light's kind of shining in there. I've got a, uh, a ball valve here. And basically the idea was I wanted to have a ball valve that was going to allow me to take this PEX off if I needed to with the ball valve shut. So I needed to do it. I needed to have the ball valve last for that reason. So if I end up needing another valve, that's no problem. I definitely do need a um, check valve. You can get a three-quarter inch check valve, and that's something I don't have on here. Basically, the system's no good without that. I didn't know that. Turns out that when this thing pumps, when this thing pumps and creates pressure, when it turns off, it just relieves itself right through here. So that would just actually squirt all the water I just pumped right back into the rain barrel. I learned that lesson right off the bat. So I got to get a three-quarter inch uh, check valve in this system. And uh, I'm going to make some other changes to it, but for now, this is the way I did it. I ended up with a, this is a three quarter inch PEX goes into the shark bite, and then on the other side, I got a little piece of copper, probably a little too small because you need to get in there with your tool to get this off. And then I have another shark bite, which has got a, a three quarter inch female. It's, you know, generally speaking, if you're going to adapt from brass to PVC, you would want to do it with the, PV, the brass as the female and the PVC as the male. So you can screw it in nice and tight without worrying about cracking this piece. If you screwed a piece of brass into a piece of PVC, you could potentially crack it. So that makes sense. So basically I have a one and a quarter inch male with a that is adapted down to a one inch, and then it's adapted down to a three quarter inch. Then it's got a piece of three quarter inch PVC stuck in there with a three quarter inch PVC elbow, another piece of PVC, and then the, the three quarter inch male screwed into the uh, adapter here. This is the best way I could come up with uh, the most logical and cheap way that I could figure that made any sense and uh, I think this piece here was like eight dollars at Home Depot something like that this was a uh, kind of unne I mean it's probably kind of unnecessary but I think I might have paid 13 or 14 dollars for this uh, on uh, plumbingsupplies.com or I'm not exact can't exactly remember exactly where I got it I'll have to check that but I think it was about 14 dollars you're probably gonna pay like 20 dollars if you bought that at Home Depot 